Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, the 28th of November. Monday in the first week of Advent. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading is, once again, the entrance antiphon for today's Mass. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Saviour will come. You need no longer fear. Dear friends, as we make our way towards Christmas, we are conscious that we do so as disciples, as men and women, boys and girls who follow Jesus Christ. But we know that on the road, on the journey with us, there are so many people who are not disciples, who wouldn't class themselves as disciples of Jesus. We also know that there are many who actively reject Jesus Christ, who do not believe that he has come to save the world. So what does our journeying together mean in that context when we are with a host of so many different kinds of people? Of course, people of different languages, cultures, racial groups, but also people of different faith or people of no faith. What does it mean? It means, dear friends, that we have to be a listening people. We have to be a people who are open to others, prepared to accept differences, open to the stranger. If we close ourselves off from listening to other people's experience, then we're not a welcoming community. We're not an open community. And the Synod is challenging us to be opening and welcoming. There is space for everyone. That's who Jesus focused on. Everyone. He listened to everyone. He didn't always agree with everyone, of course. But he was there to listen to them to share, and to speak his truth too. And we are called to do that. If we are going to be a people who are evangelizing, going out into the world of all these different nations, declaring him to the different lands, then we, we have to be people who are willing to speak our truth, but also to listen. The working document for the continental stage of the Synod says, A church that learns from listening how to renew its evangelizing mission in the light of the signs of the times, to continue offering humanity a way of being and living in which all can feel included, is the kind of church that we seek to be. Dear friends, on this first Monday in Advent. Let us really commit ourselves to the work of mission, evangelizing, proclaiming Jesus to the world, speaking our truth, but also listening, being open. Let us pray. Keep us alert, O Lord our God as we await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when he comes and knocks, he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.